which was hit especially hard by the storm. So much that it took down trees like this pretty much all over town. Talking to residents earlier today, they were just thankful that it did not get any worse. And then uh, the wind came up, hit that side of the building, just peeled the side of it off like a pop can, uh, peeled the front door up and blew stuff right out the front of the shop. The winds got so heavy in some parts of town, they ripped a huge hole in a large shed near the side of the road. It was hard to turn the corner in town without running into trees like this, toppled over. The storm also destroyed a swing set in Angie Creechie's backyard. Our play set is completely knocked over and um, the basketball hoop, which is just one of those motion ones that you can move, was flipped over and thankfully had missed our cars. Out at Louisville Recreation Area, campers flocked into a clubhouse to ditch the storm. Once the storm passed, Rob McWilliams found his stuff all over and his tent wadded up on the ground. It might be all right. I haven't actually checked it out yet, so we'll see, but yeah. I still have my life and my kids and my animals and everybody's okay, so that's the important thing. Still after the storm hit, residents like Creechy had plenty of family and friends stop by to check up. They offered to come down and help and um, we've talked to the neighbor that lost their trees to see what help they need, so yeah, the people here pulled together. And according to OPPD, some 1,500 residents in Cass County are still without power. Reporting in Louisville, John Kipper, 3 News Now.